Hiya, and welcome back to Heroes Advent. The game that teaches us that even though us, the audience, doesn't want to, uh, the game wants us to take it to the left. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Right foot two stomps. Left foot two stomps. Right foot again. Left foot again. Cha-cha real smooth. <laughs> so I do. Anyways, let's just hop right in. Crisscross! Fuck! You have never been here before, yet somehow the large chamber felt familiar to you. You feel like you've been here for a long time. Okay. Oh, hi, bitch. My lord, all the preparations have been made. We await only your command. Oh, hiya. <laughs> well, <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I'm assuming one of the developers. Welcome. <laughs> we await only your command. Good. Anything else to report? Sinus wishes to send you his regards, my lord. He appears to be faring well. That's good. And Linus? Already in position as requested. Make sure he's in prime condition for tomorrow. Do not disappoint me, Vic. As you wish, my lord. Hmm? Oh, you're here. <laughs> Eavesdropping on others like so. And I would have thought they'd have taught you to be better. And then again, it matters not. Yes, I am a very giggly bitch. Once I've gotten through this wretched city, you're next. Hero! A shattered figure lets out a bellowing laugh that shattered your ears. Ha <laughs> You held your head and cowered into a corner, wondering when it'd all be over. The deafening laughter somehow became more high-pitched as time went on, before turning into the familiar ring of your alarm clock. Well, shit. I forgot to bring something up. Ta-da. Ugh. My head. You slowly sat up with a groan, looking around just to make sure it was still your room. The throbbing headache rendered you dizzy for a moment. What was that about? Honestly, I like Alex's route. And this may just be the edgy person within me. The, I guess the emo. But I actually love how his route is turning out like how he's uh you know how he's fractured i actually love that like i think it can lead to pretty interesting scenarios what was that about you try to recall what you dreamt of though most of the details have already faded from your mind the only thing that remained was that last laugh you shuddered it was the same laugh from your nightmares you decided to stay in bed until your head got better Afterwards, you went through your morning routines and prepared for another day with Ray. You expect to hear a knock on the door or him calling you from outside, but there are none. You decide to look for him after finishing your breakfast. Where should you look first? Uh, which one? Where are we looking for Ray? You know, I'm going to save... You went down to the lab. You can hear Alex and Ray's, Alex's and Ray's voice from the hallway. Seems like they're fighting about something. Why are you like this, Alex? You already said I'm sorry. You purposefully ignored my call. Just hang out with that new friend of yours? I'm sorry. It's just that a lot of things have been going through my mind lately, and I just really need some space. Hmm. So you think I'm a nuisance? No, that's not... So I'm less important than Dave, huh? What do you mean by that? Do you really think I didn't notice? I know you've been seeing him all this time. So much for needing some space. 
You know I can be here for you, Rai. We've been friends since childhood. I know, and I'm not trying to discredit our friendship, Al. It's just that you're always busy with things, and I don't want to interrupt or burden you. I'm convinced that Alex is a tsundere. I am convinced that he is a tsundere. So you think I'm not good enough to help you? No! That's no- I don't want to hear any more of any of this anymore. Out, please listen. Out! Get out! Alright, alright. You don't have to yell at me. You instinctively stepped back quite a few steps to make it seem like you had just arrived. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh no! You saw Ray stepping out as the outside as the door opened. He looked sad. Uh, hello, Ray. Uh, hey, Dave. What are you doing here? Well, I just I got here just now. I was looking for you. Really? But the lift is that way. He pointed to the other end of the hallway. Looks like you went in the wrong direction. Uh, oh, I guess I forgot where Al's lab is. You heard us, didn't you? What are you talking about? <laughs> you caught a mal just now. It's okay, Dave. I don't mind. I'm sorry to hear about that, Ray. You want to talk about it? Maybe. Let's just get somewhere else first. I need some fresh air above ground. Sure, let's go. You walked to him and grabbed his hand. He held it tightly as you made your way to the Sky Garden. Once there, he led you to an empty seat on the less crowded side of the garden. You both sat down in silence for a couple of minutes. You were still holding hands with him rather tightly. Ray took a deep sigh before finally speaking up. So, you want to hear about what happened? Well, if you're okay with it. I don't mind, it's just a stupid fight, really. Alex gave me a prototype of his communication device and apparently had called me several times. I didn't notice it until just this morning. So I went there to check on him, you know, to see if he needed something, and he just went all angry and started yelling at me. Maybe he needed something important from you? Not really, I think he just wanted to test if the device is working or not, but me ignoring him got him mad, I guess. Maybe he's jealous, or maybe he's in a bad mood. I have seen shit like this before in real life. And I just want to say this, I am pretty sure, I am at least 92% sure that Alex is jealous. That he's jelly. Well, maybe he's in a bad mood today. Failed experiment, maybe? Oh, never mind then. Yeah, no. Fuck corruption. We don't like- we, we don't want corruption. We, we want to remain pure and innocent. Maybe. I don't know. Thing is, I've known him since childhood. Sure, we'd fight a few times, but I- but never had I seen him yelling at me for something so trivial. Huh? Trivial? Yeah, apparently he's been calling me all day yesterday. He gave me this device that can notify me when he needs something from me. I only noticed a blinking just this morning and went straight to his lab. But as soon as I opened the door, he just started yelling at me. Is it something really important? Maybe he needed a time-sensitive material or something. No. Apparently he just wanted to test the device. We are beyond innocent. Oh. <sighs> Two days ago it was Max. And now... It's Alex. I'm such a bad friend, aren't I? Hey, now, maybe it's just a misunderstanding, Ray. How would you know that? W well, maybe I don't. But, I mean, he's your friend. Maybe there's a reason why he's so angry at you. Probably. He somewhat went silent afterwards, so you decided to speak up. You know, I did have a friend back in my world. We were close, knew each other since we were kids. Oh, so that's how corruption works. It's, uh, the dynamic of their relationship. I keep thinking of it as, like, a float. You know, like, the variable type float. Like, like, the past coder, the past programmer in me is like, Ah, ah, shit, it's a float. It's like a, it's like a number variable, that is, and... Based on what you're saying, it isn't. Honestly, I have used floats in Arduino, and never before have I wanted to jump out of a window. Seriously, in one of my classes, we had to use a float on an Arduino. 
for something, and I so bad just wanted to bust open a window and jump. I hated working with variables in fucking C or... I think it's in Java. I think Arduino is based on Java. We were, cl we were close, knew each other since we were kids, but we also fought a lot over small things. Fractions are a bitch to deal with without calculators. They are! They are a bitch and a half to deal with. Honestly, just... Fuck fractions. Like, yeah, it's just division. It's literally just division. That's literally all a fraction is, just division. But seriously. Fuck fractions. I hated working with fractions, even though they are an integral part of trigonometry. And I actually loved my trigonometry class in high school. We also fought a lot over small things. Oh, this is new. Yeah. But anyways, we still remained close friends after all of that. Well, that is until I got here instead. Just multiply the denominators to get the common multiple. Yeah. Until you have to graph the... Until you have to graph it. And as soon as you have to graph it, then it's a bitch and a half. Like, you're just like, ah, shit. Well, that is until I got here instead. Ah. I'm sorry, Dave. It's alright. I'm sure he's still doing fine back there. But yeah, what I'm saying is, maybe it could be the same with you and Alex. That's why you should go and slowly talk things out with him. Try to reason with him. Right now? No! Not right now, of course. Let things cool down for a bit first, and then talk to him again. I had to graph integral functions before... Looks beautiful and satisfying. The process is a pain. Yes! It is! Like, a high school trigonometry and pre-calculus was so much fun to me. Like, I fucking loved that class. Then I get to college trigonometry, and I want to bash my head against the wall. But no, no, I'm, I'm going to go on a rant. I'm going to go on a rant. Nothing is, in my mind, nothing is worse than when you have to 3D model specific shapes. Some of my friends, fuck, Star and Sam could tell you about this. Star and Sam could tell you about this. Because they were in the room when I was doing this. I had to 3D model a hexagon for a final. And I was quite literally bashing my head against the wall and screaming at the top of my lungs. Like, I was at the point, I was about ready to go and slash my professor's tires. I was about to go slash his tires. I was just about to, like, uh, terrorize the neighborhood in front of his wife and daughter. Like, I, I was, I was feeling violent. I got a C in that class. Anyways, let things cool down and then talk to him again. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe I'll do that, and maybe I'll bring him something he likes. That would be nice. I'm sure he'd appreciate the gift. Mm-hmm. I get, guess I'll do just that. <laughs> I was a tech major in college. I was a tech major. I was a tech major. And it was a pain in the ass with a capital... P-A-I-N-I-N-T-H-E-A-S-S. -S. Thanks, Dave. Nah, nah, no! No! No. This was like the creation of the shit that you would use in IT. This was... This was product development that I was studying. I wanted to go into computer science. Because, like, quick quick fun fact. I've actually been developing video games since I was fucking 14. It is, in my experience, it isn't fun. From my own personal experience... Building games is not fun. Now, granted, I've used a multitude of engines. Uh, hang on, how many did I use? I used Unity, Unreal, RenPy, Godot, 
source raw c plus plus direct x pi game did i already say run pi run pi and i think there was one more oh yeah processing yeah you ruffled your hair with a brighter smile honestly it is it is amazing like i wish that i could create something like this in run pi don't mention it, Ray. I'm happy to help. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's that. Want to do some training? <laughs> yeah, I think some exercise will make me feel better. Blowing off some steam, so to speak. Sure. You followed Ray down to one of the vacant training rooms. Tossing your shirts aside, you both started training as soon as you arrived. Starting with the obligatory warm-ups, you also followed up with an obstacle course. Which Ray set up around the front room. Well, uh, Kandor, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Uh, th this game is amazing. It's, it's fun. I like it. It's fun. You both ran through it several times before winding down with a set of calisthenics. The whole routine was exhausting but rewarding. You could already feel the strength building in your sore muscles. <laughs> I guess it's all for today. I do feel a bit better now. How about you, Dave? Yeah! <laughs> I feel a bit better, too! <laughs> Let's grab lunch, then. You go back to your bench in the, at the garden. I'll buy something for us. Sure, you sure you don't want me to tag along, though? Hey, to each their own. Nah, yeah, it's alright. Okay, then. You put on your clothes and headed to the garden. Ray returned with two food boxes as you sat down and enjoyed the meal. He also talked a bit about gardening and physical training techniques. It was nice listening to him talking about subjects he's passionate about. It was quite in-depth as well, but also not too complicated like how Alex would explain it. You felt like you've learned quite a few things from his talk. As you finished your meal, you were approached by a figure who turned out to be quite a small mouse. Oh, hey, Thurston. Hello, Master Ray. What brings you here? Oh, uh, well, Master Alex uh, wanted Thurston to fetch this Dave guy to Master Alex's lab. I fucking love Thurston. Uh, I suppose for whatever reason it was, you missed out yesterday, huh? <laughs> and now that I think about it, we never heard about your scanning results either. Yes, and Thurston believes Master Alex's anger is mostly because of that. Master had a cheddar for dinner. Master Alex has been waiting for a whole day yesterday. <sighs> Why can't he just tell me that directly? Well, you go on ahead, Dave. I'll be waiting for you. Are you sure you're going to be okay? Yeah, I have my gardening to tend to anyway, so it's all right. If you say so. Take care, Ray. Take care. You left the Sky Garden and followed Festin back to the lab. I fucking love Festin. We're back, Master Alex, sir. Finally! Here you are. We can get back to work. Hey, Alex. Dave, you really took your precious time, you know. You were supposed to be here yesterday! The Link said as you followed him and Festin into the lab. Yeah! Sorry about that. I was training with Ray at the beach. I hope you can forgive him, though. I don't want to hear of him now. I've waited an entire day for him! Yeah. So I've heard. But maybe he just forgot about it, you know? I mean, he's just gone through some rough time with rough, rough time with Max. <laughs> it's easy to forget about the device thing you gave him. <laughs> Be that as it may, he should have been able to notice the blinking lights coming from it. Well, you don't have a better device for that? Like a phone, maybe? Uh phone what's that hmm, i guess you could call it a communication device i see well we do have that but it's ridiculously big i know Ry's a dragon and all but even him wouldn't be able to carry such things everywhere anytime uh so you don't have it small master alex is developing one such thing you see master alex has been working on it for several times to give him a bad mood huh? 
Festin! Ugh, I told you not to tell others about that. Ah! Festin apologizes! Um, right. So that's what's going on. Well, if you want, I can bring you one I brought from my world. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, did I say something wrong? No, no, no. You have one sitting in your room. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Go fetch it for me. Well, that depends. Will you forgive Ray? I'll see what I can do. But bring it here first. All right, all right. You went back to your room and picked up your phone among your belongings. You gave the quick ones over. <laughs> Aside from a few scratches on the screen, it was in pretty good condition. Okay, okay, so, I'm not laughing about that. I'm not laughing about that. What I'm laughing about is that one part in Alex's route where he's going through the data and Dave remembers why he's freaking the fuck out. And he's like, oh fuck. It's furry porn. Give it to me. Only if you speak to Rai. Did I stutter? <laughs> okay. You flipped it a few times just to make sure nothing is out of the pl out of place before shoving it to your pockets and dashed back to the lab. <laughs> that fucking killed me. Alex snatched the phone from your hand before he could say anything. Hmm, fascinating. So this is what you call a phone, huh? It's so thin and light. So, will you forgive Ray? Yeah, yeah, I'll talk with him tomorrow. Mm, yes, this might be what I needed all along. Are you sure it's okay for me to have this? Uh, sure. I haven't said anything. Of, I haven't even said anything about that yet. Thank you, then. I promise I'll give you a replacement once I'm done with mine. Now, on to our main business. Alex sits down on his chair after putting the phone aside and pulls out a holographic diagram in front of you. <clears throat> Tell me what you see. Uh, a diagram of my body. Good, at least you know basic biology. Uh oh! Oh shit! Oh no! And now we can see here that nothing seems to be wrong with your anatomy. Everything is where it should be, nothing out of the ordinary, and nothing is missing. But! You clicked on the screen, and the mage label of the diagram was overlaid by what looked like a bunch of wires going all around your body connected to the center points of your body and this is your circular your circulatory system uh your blood vessels good grief you don't know what these are uh yeah i do remember now yeah Ugh. anyway he tapped at the screen and dragged it in the opposite way the hologram changed into what looked like alex's body scan notice anything different <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Notice anything different? Unlike yours, his circulatory system seemed to glow a yellowish hue instead. It's glowing yellow. Yes, under certain light frequencies, the mage particles in your body will emit light based off uh, based on your. Uh, ah! Swear to God, I can't speak! I can't speak! Yes, under certain light frequencies, the mage particles in your body will emit light based on your elemental affinity. Yours doesn't glow. This would mean your body doesn't have any mage particles at all, or so it would seem. Oh. 
Okay. As we know, mage particles are what allow us to perform magic, and for now, your body can't perform one yet. Your mage count is very small. A 1.4718% to be precise. It's impossibly small. Even newborns have 15% mage inside them. The lowest mage count on a macroscopic living creature is the Devona tree with 3%. And that's because they live in the middle of arid terrains like deserts. At least it's larger than a microscopic creature. How do I increase the count? That I don't know yet, but one thing's for sure. You're from another dimension, all right. 100% not from this world. Finally, I can rub that smug look off of those council members. They're going to be all like, Oh no, Alex! Why? Why? And I'll be like, Fuck! Fuck! Ew, Alex, there can't be another dimension. Alex, that's just a myth. Alex, grow up, stop faffing around, and start doing some serious research. Screw them, all right? They can just take that and shove it up where it came from. Um, right. Well, good for you, then. Anything else I should know? Well, none for now. You may go back to Rye. All right. Wait, how did you know? You did make a point that I should forgive him, Dave. How else would you know about our fight earlier? Ah, uh, right. Okay, then. I'll be on my way now. You stood up and walked towards the door. Dave. Huh? Tell Ray to come talk to me tomorrow night, and thank you for the phone. All right, I'll let him know. And it's fine. You did say you'll get me a replacement. Yeah, yeah, I will. No go. You exited the lab and headed back to the Sky Garden. You can see Ray is tending to his personal garden. I'm back. Ah, welcome back, Dave. So how did it go? You took a seat nearby as you thought back to what Alex said. Well, if I understand this, Alex said that my mage count is too low to be from this dimension, let alone perform magic. <laughs> Don't need a test for me to tell you enough from around here, Dave. Oh, how so? Because your looks is out of this world. Ah, oh, damn, he's using the Riz. Ah, oh, damn, I'm, I'm Rizzed up. Ah, oh, shit. He's the Rizzler. That was actually very fucking smooth. Right? <laughs> well, did he say something about me? Well, he said that you can come talk to him tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? But that's... The tournament would still be ongoing. I guess you could always tell him that you can't. No, no. It's fine. I don't want to enter the competition anyway. I'll talk to him tomorrow. He grabbed his hand. Well, I'll go with you then. That'll be nice. And before that, why don't we go on a date? Again? We've been dating for a couple of days now, Ray. Hiya. So... Want to date me anymore? Well, I mean, I guess just another wouldn't hurt. <laughs> All right, Dave. Yeah. <gasps> ah! 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 The amount of Riz that he used. <coughs> Before you realized, Ray already pressed a snout against yours for a quick yet tender kiss. Love you. R Ray! <laughs> How was it? How was what? Oh, I don't know. Your first kiss. W well, uh, I don't know. You covered your eyes with your hands, still shocked from what you thought just happened. Your heart was still pounding in your chest. Are you okay? Do you need a drink? No! I'm okay! You took a deep breath. Dang it, Ray! I told you to warn me before you do such things! Well, I'll do what I can, because honestly, you look the cutest when you're this flustered. You felt your cheeks getting even redder. Ray! 
You nudged his shoulder away, earning a chuckle from him. What? You want more? <coughs> all right, all right. I'll stop teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> For now. <coughs> you charged at him and shoved him forward. <laughs> Though his massive form only flinched a little as he left. Well, with this much energy, you're better off helping me with the garden, Ray. Only if you'll stop teasing me. Maybe. Can't guarantee. Then no helping. Alright, alright, I'll stop. Good. For now. What was that? Nothing, now grab that pot over there for me, would you? You helped Ray around his garden until it was late into the evening. Afterwards, he treated you to a filling dinner at the usual spot before escorting you back to your room. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, then. Yeah, have a good night's sleep, too, Ray. Thanks, you too, love. What? He leaned for a quick kiss. There, for your good night's sleep. See you tomorrow. He quickly headed along the dorm hallway. Heh, <laughs> what a dork. You went through your usual evening rituals before throwing yourself against the bed. You closed your eyes, trying to empty your thoughts. But you couldn't shake off that image of the red dragon kissing you. It's your first kiss, after all. Eventually, you managed to drift sleep, thinking of him cuddling you. Dreaming of him cuddling a... you. It's time! <coughs> you woke up to the sound of someone knocking on the door. You groggily walked towards the door to see who it was. There you could see Ray standing, smiling at you. He was holding something on his other hand. Good morning there, love. He stole the kiss on your forehead. Did I disrupt your sleep? Nah, not really. I was just getting to wake up anyway. Come on in. And, uh, what's that on your hand? This? Just some breakfast I bought for us. Though I must say, you're looking quite sexy, Dave. Sheesh, it's only 5 a.m., Ray. Too early for this. Well, not too early to see you naked, I guess. What are you m uh, Oh. He quickly slammed the door in front of him. The shock was enough to make you wide awake. Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> you put some pants on before coming back to him again. S sorry for that, Ray. <laughs> nah, it's alright. It's a treat, honestly. Oh, no, Sheesh! He's hot! And it's not like it's my first time seeing you naked. Hey! It was for science, alright? Heh. <laughs> Sure thing. Want to do some experiments later on, then? Experiments? He looked at him for a bit, trying to figure out what he meant by that. He means sex! It took you a moment, but as soon as you did, your face went red again as you jabbed his belly playfully. Jeez, Ray! I... I guess? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Dave. Let's eat the breakfast, yeah? Yeah, I need to get some work done before our date. Ray! What? Come on, the food's gonna get cold. Hm. <laughs> Alright. You ate your breakfast with Ray, preparing yourself before going with Ray to his garden. I get so scared every single time a character pops up on the screen. I get so scared. Because, like, Sileo Tales of a New Dawn. The fucking pizza box. I'm just going to say this. You never forget the fucking pizza box once you've seen it. Once you've seen the pizza box, you never fucking forget it. <laughs> you don't want to know, Amethyst. Trust me, you don't want to know. He did... Everything still looked quite the same, except for how vacant the place was in the morning. Woohoo! Okay, okay, okay. Um, just watch the Sileo VO VODs on my YouTube channel. Alright, you know what, you know what, I'm just gonna put it in the Discord. I'm putting it in the Discord server, like, right now.
All right. Done. You looked at the red bud at the center of the garden. It looks like it has sprouted a bit from the soil. Oh, it's sprouting! Yep, finally it has, even if just a bit. I think I found the perfect condition for it at last. What is it again? Last time I asked, you kind of kept it a secret from me. Yeah, well, it's a parfaité bud. Oh? Sorry for not telling you last time. I couldn't know if it's going to work out or not. If I told you then, I might have hyped you up a bit too much. Wouldn't want to jinx it. <laughs> it's alright, Ray, but wow, you really managed to make it sprout. That's definitely some progress, Ray. Yeah, it took a long time and a bunch of customized fertilizer to make the soil good enough for it to grow. I took a spray bottle and started to spray the plant while plucking the weeds sprouting near the soil. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to put this out there. I'm just going to put this out there. Like, I overreact. Like, something I like to do whenever it comes to NSFW content is I like to ham it up and overreact, but, you know, for the laughs. In reality, like, whenever I'm reading visual novels on my own, like, NSFW pops up and I just go, oh, that's a penis, and then I go about my day. But that said, when it just happens, then I freak the fuck out. I'm just like, like, when it happens out of nowhere, like, if I'm, like, if I can anticipate it, I'm just like, no, oh, that's a penis, and then I go about my day. But if I can't anticipate it and it just pops up, I freak the fuck out. He took a spray bottle and started to spray the plant while plucking the weeds sprouting near the soil. Do you need any help, Ray? Nah, I can do it myself. You just can't, you can help tending to the other plants, though. Use the red watering can over there. I already filled it with some nutrition water. Make sure not to overdo it. Water not the leaves, but the soil around the plants. Water it evenly and gradually, or you'll drown the plant. Uh oh, okay. You went to one of the tool shelves on the side. There are two watering cans beside it. We take the red one. Alright, seems about right. You went to the plants and. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to get into that conversation. I'm not going to get into that conversation. Uh, I'm going to use the magical power that is saving. There we go. Should I water it again? I guess enough is enough. Oh, hey, good work there, love. Guess I picked the right guy for the job, huh? Hey, it was nothing. You taught me how to do it, Ray. Well, it means nothing unless you're doing a good job. That's true. Well, anything else I can help, hun? Oh, calling pet names now, aren't we? Shush! You called me love a couple of times. You started it first. <laughs> Just kidding. Love. <coughs> what? He chuckled as he couldn't help but smile. Let's wrap things up, then. Let's get cleaned up and visit some booths. Booths? Yeah, you'll see soon enough. You went to the bathroom to wash your hands from the dirt. Afterwards, you caught up with Ray outside the guild building. Whoa! Impressive, right? A lot of people come here today to celebrate. What are they celebrating, actually? Well, before the existence of the Guardian Crystal, the people of the city used to elect the strongest warriors here and had them fight each other. The winner will then be crowned the hero and sent off to fight the evil king while helping other settlements from nether skirmishes. I see, you said used to. What happened then? Well, I think you probably know the rest. Once the Guardian Crystal finished constructing, we no longer had to send people out. The tradition involved in this sort of sports competition and festivals. Each year we celebrate it to honor the heroes that sacrifice themselves for the greater good. Say, now that you mention it, maybe you should enter the sport competition, Dave. Just to make sure you're actually the hero, yeah? W well, I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. <laughs> Just take it easy, love. You might not be the crowned hero yet, but you'll always be the hero of my heart. Sheesh! Why are you so cheesy? And the music is loud. I'm turning that down. 
The amount of riz in this man. Wouldn't that mean that I'm quite palatable? I'm done. Fuck this shit, I'm out. And I'm back. He's an amazing Rizzler. I know. I do actually appreciate it. Wouldn't that mean I'm quite palatable? Sorry. I'm lactose intolerant in that case. Why are the dogs screaming? You mean ratose intolerant? <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. Sure. He walked around a bit, browsing the stands with Ray until the sun rose higher. At first it was warm, but soon enough the amount of people made the atmosphere all the more hot and sweatier. Ray eventually noticed you're getting, ex you getting exhausted from the walking. You okay there, love? Let's sit down a bit there, okay? Sh sure! Bueno, I gotta do the- Sh Sure! Thanks, hon! You both sit down at a table. The shade made the heat quite bearable for now. Wait here a bit. I'll get something for us to cool off. All right! Don't take too long! I'm starting to melt here! Ray went to a familiar booth nearby. Oh, I think I've seen them before! After a few minutes, he brought back two cones of ice cream. Here you go, he said, handing you one. Oh, thank the heavens! Thank you, whoever invented ice cream! You took a quick bite off of the ice cream. The cold seeped in your mouth. Then your head. <laughs> you once just your Emotional head Emotional damage! Brain freeze! <laughs> Whoa there, take it slow, Dave. Just lick it slowly. Uh, it's okay. I'm okay now. Don't just bite into it like that. What are you, a monster? Uh, by my old world standard. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> you really are from another world, huh? Yeah. You have festivals like this there? Of course, it's actually pretty similar so far, minus the floating wagon thingy. I see. Say, Dave, do you miss your old world? Oh, well, it's okay if you don't want to talk about it. It's okay. Well, I have a close friend that I left behind there. His name is... Uh... Hiya. I can't seem to remember. But we shared the same interests and used to talk about it all the time. But if I'm to be honest, I'm more worried than sad. This used to be our dream to be in, well, this. Being in this? Yeah, it's hard to explain. Other than that, I don't really miss much else, I guess. There's also my old caretaker, but I've been living away from him for some time, so I guess I'm used to not seeing him around. But hey, at least I don't have to do math equations and all that schoolwork again. Well, if you needed someone to talk about matters that bothered you, I'm always here. I will. It's alright, hon. How are you feeling? Any better yet? Yeah, the ice cream actually helped. Oh shit, I got a notification. Hang on. I gotta, I gotta check this. No, fuck off more, not to. Yeah, the ice cream actually helped. I kind of don't mind a, I kind of don't mind a few more actually. <laughs> Same. Let's get some more, then continue sightseeing. All right. Sure thing. Okay, okay, so, um, I'm talking about the remake. I'm talking about the remake. Yeah, like the remake of Mornatsu. It's available on iPhone. You got some more ice cream with Ray before going around the carnival again. Yeah, 
got into some attractions with him, and tried some snacks along the way. They were quite filling, but somehow you still felt quite hungry as you went on. The sun was already high up in the sky when you lined up for the mirror maze. It looked interesting, and Ray seemed quite excited about it. Yo, oh, you hungry already, Dave? Yeah, I guess so. Ah, well, let's back out of the queue for now. Uh, okay, sorry, Ray. Nah, it's alright, I'm actually quite hungry too. We can play this tomorrow, let's grab some food for now. You both started looking around for a food stall that interested you when a familiar voice called out. Sarai! You saw a snow leopard waving his hand from a booth. You both slowly walked toward the booth, despite Ray seeming quite reluctant for a moment. The place was already packed, looks like Cody's food is quite in demand today. The leopard signaled you both to circle around back, so you both met up with him back there. It's been a while... It's been a while since I last saw you, sir. Yeah, it's been a while. Ah. That's Cody. Well, why don't you ask him yourself? You open the back door and you can see Cody cooking a fresh batch of food while talking to the customer. Ayash, where are you? I need you to help me with the... Oh? Why? I'll take over for you, sir. No worries. You can relax for a bit. I'll make some lunch for you both, for you both too. Ashford headed in and looked, took over for Cody, who backed out with a rather nervous look on his face. Um, hey, uh, Cody. Hi. So, yeah. How's business? It went well, I guess. Um, how about you? Same. Uh, so, how are you? Good, good. I'm doing fine currently. How about you? Seeing so other people yet? Yeah, well, I'm seeing a lot of people, actually. Uh, well, I'm actually with Dave now. That was before I met you. Don't worry, Dave. Oh, yeah, have you both met? This is Dave. He's the one Max brought in, right? Yeah, yeah, we've met. Yeah, it's nice to see you again, Dave. Likewise, Cody, it's been a while. Yeah. It is. You all stood around in silence for a bit. Oh, wow, it's storming again. The awkwardness is so thick in the air you could probably slice it with a knife. Suddenly, Ash popped... Suddenly, Ash opened the door again and gave you and, you and Ray each a box of food. Here you go. Don't worry about payment. It's on the house from us. Uh oh, right. Thanks, Ash. No problem. I should head back inside. I think I've had enough rest. So, see you around, Dave. Right? Sure. Uh, Cody? Yeah? It's nice seeing you again. Same here. See you, Cody. Ash, thanks for the food. With that, you bid them farewell. Ray brought you to the arena to watch the tournament while enjoying your lunch. It made you... It seemed you made it in time just for the opening ceremony, which was quite spectacular, to say the least. The fighters paraded inside the arena, each being introduced by the announcer as they walked. You could see Max and Finn alongside them. Max seemed to notice you as he waved towards you. You promptly returned the gesture. You could hear someone shouting his name loudly not far from you. A tiger seemed to be cheering his heart out for Max, clearly trying to get his attention. God damn it, Toby! Damn it, Toby! Stop being a bottom, that's generally bad for you. Wait, what? Jeez, he just never gives up, huh? Who? Him? Yeah, Tobias. Max's friend and junior from back at the academy. Oh, it was adorable! Even though he's not on our team, he always stops by to catch up and chat with Max, sometimes asking for advice and exercise routine plans. Ugh, this bitch. Oh, well, maybe he admired him? Probably. Probably something more. He still goes to Max for advice from time to time, even when Max is no longer his mentor. That's more than just admiration to me, but eh, what do I know? Right... Oh, don't forget about Alex's appointment, Ray. Don't want to piss him off again. Yeah, no, we still got to have. I want to see Max beating Finn first. 
You sat there with Ray for a bit watching the tournament. Max and Finn performed more than well as they both got to face each other off in the semifinal. Yeah! Kick his ass, Max! You got this! Ray shouted on the top of his lungs. Hey, hey, hey! Why don't you come down and kick my ass directly? <laughs> Finn smirked and shouted back. The bell rang as their match commenced. Seemed like a close fight. You couldn't tell who was really having the upper hand. The fight went on for a while, and you were at the edge of your seat wondering who would come out on top. Before the match concluded, Ray decided it was time to go to Alex. You both made your way to Alex's lab. <sighs> okay. Ray scanned his eyes and to unlock the doors you headed in. Hey, Alex. Oh. You saw Alex sleeping with his head on the table. Can I go on a rant about how, <laughs> how we got rejected by Max in both his route and not? Okay, okay, no, no, because Toby keeps getting fucking rejected. Like, like, he walks up and Max is all like, nah, nah, no. Oh. Okay, go, go off, Amethyst. Looked like he was working on something and fell asleep at some point. Festin is there too, still sorting through some documents and files. Oh, hello, Sir Ray. Master Alex is asleep right now. What my Festin help you with, huh? I'm good, Festin. What is he making this time? Some sort of a communication device. Yesterday, Master Alex borrowed some kind of device from Sir Dave here. Festin and Master Alex tinker with such device all night long. Heh, <laughs> figures. Ray went by Alex's side and rubbed his head. I guess who's your land arrest then, yeah? Are you sure it's okay? What if he gets angry when he doesn't see when he doesn't see you here? Yeah, it's fine. Festin can pass the message on for us. There's no need for that. <sighs> Alex slowly stirred away from his sleep. I'm awake the moment he touched my head. You should have told me sooner that you need my touch, Alex. N no, I don't need your touch. Get your darn hand off of me. Ray moved away a bit as he chuckled. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can totally see you didn't like the head rubs, Mr. Blushy Face. <laughs> well, now, you finally show up on time. Hey, I'm sorry, alright? I really am. But now that I'm here, anything I can do for you? Just sit there and, um, keep me company. I do need someone that doesn't talk in third person to talk to. Huh? Nothing! Could you fetch us some coffee, Festin? Sure thing, Master. Festin quickly left the lab. We're gonna leave off here tonight. I fucking love this game. Granted, I say that about every game, and that's because I love visual novels. They make me go, yes. No problem. And anyways, stay safe, have a good night, and I will see you all tomorrow.